got his daughter a Nintendo Switch at Christmas time. Mm-hmm. And his daughter suffers from HSP. It's a hereditary, and I'm going to mess up the pronunciation. So it's pretty much a fine motor and speech um, disability. Um, so he actually took... Oh, wow. He considers himself a little bit of a tinkerer, as mm-hmm. he says in the article. Um, and he customized the control pad for the Switch by emulating the Joy-Con buttons on Flavor, how is it? Microsoft Adaptive's yeah. or Microsoft Xbox Adaptive controller, which if you remember last year on the Super Bowl, Microsoft did a big splash splash with their adaptive yeah. controller. Um, and they, they've followed up on that in a couple of other seg- segments. Um, so between the adaptive controller and some parts from eBay, um, at about $143, he built um, a controller so his daughter could play Breath of the Wild, which I thought was pretty amazing. That is and, awesome. Um, and they're playing video from their Twitter of her with the uh, the controller right now. And and this is there wasn't much more adaption, uh, adaptation from the controller. Is there, Did he have to rebuild from the original controller to do this, or is it just adapting it to... I think it's a little bit of both. Oh, it is a little bit of both. So it looks like it's got two joysticks in the middle and then just buttons around all the outside. Um, if you're looking at it there and he's got an adapter underneath that, that goes to, which I, I think we, and there's the, here's a lot of the rigging. Uh, it looks like underneath the buttons that he did. If you're on the video with us here. So, um, that's interesting. And, and, uh, by comparison, there's the adaptive controller, the original adaptive controller. And actually it's just two pads for the most part on the Xbox. Yeah, but there's a bunch of other pieces and there's right plug in, it's adapting pluggable pieces okay. that you plug mm-hmm. in oh it's it. that thing okay because we we had this before because we talked with somebody at um the alpha lab demo day that was doing this um oh, i think they were called like black box or something it's in it's in, i know it's in our our, our uh, stuff okay so you can plug other devices into it as well um like i'm seeing all these other kind of buttons and switches and toggles uh, that you're doing and that and yeah that, and that's that's the big thing because you, you really have to adapt for the element for the actual mm-hmm. person right? yeah so i mean that's that's really cool um so awesome I, it, and, and hopefully i mean i think xbox was the first to do this on the company level for a console is that true which as far as i know yes and i will say if you ever get a chance and i could not find the video before the show today but if you ever find the video that shows the box that the adaptive controller comes in mm-hmm the box is completely accessible whether you pretty much for any accommodation so or if disability. I, so if I'm handicapped have and and need this thing, I probably can't get into the typical store box of an electronics. Yes, the box is, is completely accessible. Really? That's cool. Super cool. Just a lot of 